Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. In today's video, I'm actually going to be using single shadows that are in my collection. Um, these are the ones that I pulled for this month's Shop My Stash for February. These are from my line of cosmetics. Some of these shadows are five to ten years old, and I wanted to get some use out of them to not only see if they're worth keeping or if I should declutter them. So far, I've got two to three pulled um, from this month's Shop My Stash that I'm going to be decluttering. I am also I also have this here, and my cat Connor's actually in here instead of Bub today. He's sick. He's been sick for over two weeks now. Poor thing hasn't eaten anything. And what are you doing, buddy? He's looking rough. So he's going to get a bath today. I already cut his toenails and his claws. So anyways, I'm going to be using all of these single shadows and stuff. I'm going to be doing two different eye looks. Um, so I'm not quite sure how this will turn out, but we'll see. Um, I, I know I want to do, I have a purple in my waterline, so I know I want to do like blues and purples. So I'm going to start off with these blues here. And then um, I have like a darker blue in here. So, um, and these are all from my line. I think one of them is Hedonism. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay, so we have Hedonism here. This one is Rhythm. And the other one that's in here might be Dark Navy. Nope, this one is Constellation. So I'm looking at these shades right now. And Hedonism is a matte and Rhythm is a satin shade and the other one is a satin to shimmer. So we'll see how this goes. I might add some other shades in here as I go along. There's a cat hair on my brush. Gee, huh? Connor, how'd cat hair get on my eye brush, huh? I think it's because the stuff like floats through the air. And I tried using the ABH foundation today as like concealer instead of like regular concealer under my eyes. And I did put it on my eyelids and it likes creases. It has like creased into all the little lines under my eyes and everything. So we'll see how that stuff goes. I haven't used it all over my face just yet. This is hedonism. This is a bold effects eyeshadow. creases on my eye where the foundation creased it's like not wanting to go on that spot because I flipped the brush wrong I've got like fallout everywhere on my nose I didn't want color that far in the camera battery died well These are both like pastel blues. One of them's a warm blue and one of them's a cool tone blue. Hedonism has a little bit more yellow in it and rhythm is more like a gray blue. I'm dipping into constellation. breaker on my finger and put it up here since a lot of these shades are shimmery I wanted a, a lighter shimmer shade up there and then I think I'm gonna take which one are you I'm gonna take no escape from Lele Posh I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush wet and work it on the pan this is like kind of like an all blue look. 
which is fine. I, I like wearing blue eyeshadows. But I wanted something a little bit different. that first brush into rhythm and just kind of tap over where the purple stop. Just changing it just a little bit. This is the CoverGirl Intensifying Liner. purple shade it's one of the Lily Posh like neon pigments from her radioactive line or sorry biohazard she said you have to tap and then blend for these so I'm gonna put this out here and I'm using a little Vera Mona shader brush and then I'm gonna tap it right up under my lash line. And I'm not, I've never used a neon before, so it's very clingy, I guess you could say. It wants to stay where I put it. It doesn't want to blend at all. And it, when you try and blend it, it just looks a little bit patchy. I'm going to pick up a little bit of plumage on my brush, which from my line. Let's see if I can get that to help blend it.
grab this free spirit shade here and put it here and up here. I'm going to use it on my brow bone with the fluffy Tetris brush. I'm just wiping it off on the towel on my lap. I'm going to do the same under here as well. And this is a shimmer shade. I'm mean, just taking a brush slightly damp. I think I needed it more damp. That's okay. One ice blue, one ice purple. Eh, we'll go with it. brush over. I'm going to go into which shade of you? Mad Love from Lele Posh. I'm going to put this out here. Over that dark shade because it's, it's, I know it's a little bit on the sheer side, but it has this like beautiful glitter in it. And it just makes that matte shade a little bit more just sparkly. And then going into the glitter I haven't used yet, this one is, I think, Galaxy? Uh, Galactic. I'm going to use that on the center of my lid. on a little hexagon shapes. Alright, so here is the finished look. I will zoom you guys in and let you get a closer look at this. Um, any of the glitter that was on my eyes, the little hexagon shapes did fall off, so that's okay. 
I don't have to worry about them landing in my eye now, but let me zoom you in so you can see this eye up close and then both up close and then I will give you some thoughts. So using, um, I had never used that neon from Lele Posh. Using that was a little bit different. Um, it was a little difficult to figure out at first because I know she said to pack it and then it would blend. Once I packed it on, it didn't want to move. Um, I did use plumage over here to like blend it, uh, to get it to blend out. And the eye look is a lot darker than I was expecting, which is, it's fine. Um, and then I used this over where the darkness is to kind of give it some oomph. And then I used this which is galactic in the center of my lid and then I used free spirit on the inner part wet and then up here dry and then I blend it out underneath my eye with it dry as well so um, I think out of my shadows I'm debating on getting rid of hedonism and rhythm just because they're super dry hedonism like kicked up all kinds of, like I am like blue all the way around here and even like trying to do this to like wipe off some of the blue it's like even the whole side of my nose has like a blue like hue to it um so I think I might be getting rid of that one the rhythm shade I'm not quite sure it is a satin shade and it they do work fine together I just I think that they're a little bit um, too dry to use. I will try and use them in another look and see if they work better or not. If not, then um, that they're both gonna go on my to get rid of list. So this is the, the final look using singles. We've got a blue eye and a purple eye or a purple and blue eye and a purple eye. And as you can tell from my t-shirt, I like purple. So I'm okay with that. And I did take Free Spirit and put it over the lip color I was wearing. This is the Illa Masca this one does you have a name um antimatter lipstick in cosmic it's very very drying and then i put a lip gloss over it because it was like super dry and it picked up on all the dryness on my lips but um i just kind of tapped it in the center and because it's a shimmer shade it, it kind of works and i like it so and i don't honestly give a crap if you guys would wear what i'm wearing or not i mean i'm wearing it it's on my face so um, I know that there's been some people that um, have left some comments about whether or not they would wear something specific like what I'm wearing. Let me just tell you this. If I, it's on my face and I'm wearing it, then you should be okay with the fact that I'm wearing it. Whether you would wear it or not is up to you. It's your preference. It's your face. You do you. But telling me that you don't like the colors that I use or the color combos that I use or you wouldn't wear something because of the color that I chose those were my choices, not yours. So telling me what I should and shouldn't do with my own makeup is not going to be allowed on my channel. Um, one person did comment that I've been friends with them for a while and I had already had multiple comments that day telling me what I should and shouldn't do with my makeup and they took what I said the wrong way. I wasn't kind of trying to come across as rude or bitchy or anything else. I was just stating I was the one that had to go out in public in it. I was the one that was wearing the shade. You didn't have to wear it but they told me I was rude for saying that. But when, what you guys don't understand is that we get comments that you might never see that come in on the backside of YouTube and telling somebody that their makeup looks like shit is one thing. Okay, I honestly don't care what you think of my makeup skills. I know what I've done in my life and in my career and working in the salon industry. Um, I know that my color choices might not be the same as what somebody else might like, but then again, I don't wear makeup for you. I wear makeup for me because I had a really shit two weeks and telling somebody that you wouldn't do something or that it looks bad on them, that should be a, an automatic no. Um, you should think about that before you type it in the comments because you don't understand what we are doing on this side of the camera 
when we're on the other side of the camera, okay? Because I have gotten a lot of shit lately where people are telling me that I'm a rude or I'm a bitch if I stand up for myself. So that's gonna stop right now. We're not gonna name call when somebody's defending themselves because you're the asshole, not me. Telling me that that was an ugly eye look because I used green, orange, and red together, well, I was just trying something new. It's makeup. I get one of these wet and it washes right off. It's just makeup. So telling me that you thought it was an ugly eye look because I used three shades that you didn't think go, went, to, went well together, you're right. I didn't think it went well together either, but it was something I was trying. I was curious. I went, I went with it. So it's my channel. It's my face. It's my eye. I'm the one that wore it for half a day. So to think about that when you're like typing comments to somebody that number one, you don't know what we're going through. You don't know how we're feeling or what's going on in our lives or what the drama is that we're dealing with where, um, you know, in, in my case, I've had a lot of severe things happen recently and telling me like in my comment section regularly, like, like my personality's changed or my attitude has changed or I've gotten snippy or why am I such a bitch now? Um, Maybe instead of saying things like that, maybe ask me, hey, are you okay? What's going on? Do you need somebody to talk to? And I'm probably gonna tell you no because you've been a bitch to me and I don't wanna fucking talk to you. But I haven't talked to a lot of people about a lot of stuff lately and I've had a really rough few months to the point where I've thought about eating my nine millimeter multiple times. So why don't you think about what your comments might do to somebody else before leaving a nasty comment? Because even though I never get them posted on YouTube, they sit in my spam folder or my waiting to be approved folder, I still have to read that crap. Others might not because I don't know what they're going through. But think about that for a minute before you leave a nasty, hateful comment on somebody's video or telling them that, that they're some, something because we're defending ourselves because we feel attacked. So, oh, and, and don't try and degrade the fact that we feel attacked by something that was said to us because that's also wrong. Um, you can have your opinions and I don't have to hear about them. So I'm going to leave that here. Uh, I, sorry, this is ending on such a sour note. I think both looks are beautiful, but I'm tired of the crap. I'm tired of the, the hateful comments and being called names for standing up for myself and defending myself. And if you think I'm a bitch for it, then that's fine. That's you. You don't have to watch me. I've got like 3000 subscribers that do not watch me. Actually, I've got like 30, 3,800 subscribers that don't watch me because I only get nine to 25 views a video. But I still make sure I try and post videos every single day, even though I only get nine views a video. So until YouTube wants to go through and audit the system and get all these like fake bot accounts off my account, I can't do anything about it. I probably legit only have 100 subscribers. And I've asked them to audit my account and they won't. So would I lose monetization? Probably. But you know what? At this point, I'd rather only have people subscribe to me that are actually watching me, not just the number. And, you know, it is what it is. So I'm Rebecca Overset. I'm going to go enjoy, hopefully when the air kicks on again. It's like been 80 here in Florida. It was like 86 yesterday. It's supposed to be 82 or 3 today. It's really hot. I'm sweating my butt off. I finally flipped the air on. I don't care if dad gets mad. I'm hot. He doesn't have to sit in his house all day with it being like 80 to almost 90 degrees with all these animals and them sitting there panting because they're hot. I'm hot. They're hot. So I will see you guys in another video very soon. Hopefully you're having a better week than me. Bye.